Hello everybody, here is Michael Mark. Nice to see you again. Did you remember this boy and another boy that they pick up recycle? So this is uh, episode 3 for the stories of this poor boy. So um, Putak met them and then give them some money from me and $5 for each boy and we'll ask him to go see his grandma. You already watched for the, the second episode, but this one is the third episode, and we'll be continue from the last video. So uh, right now, Putak went to see her. <laughs> This is the second episode that first time to see uh, his grandma. His name is Makara. He is 12 years old. He's keeping the school because the school is flooding and so this boy didn't know much about things around. So his grandma raising five grandchildren so that her daughter left behind and include her son too, just left her behind. And the other two is still baby, their mom take care of them. She got kicked out from the other apartment and because she didn't have any money to pay for rent for two months already. So after we post this video, we talk to what and me and then uh, the people who get a good heart and generous to give to her, to helping her about this the hard situation. So her neighbor, they got a good heart. And then they helping her to stay with that apartment, but the apartment is too little. So she didn't know where to go and her neighbor just feel so much sad and compassion and pity to her and to help her because she is 71 years old, raised by grandchildren and her daughters and her son don't care about her, never take good care about her, she just abandoned her and she had to leave her own so uh, by that time the neighbor helping her out and the other video people see this situation, they feel so much sadness and they feel like want to helping her to get out of the, that hard situation because you can see she stick on the land part on her, you know, her forehead. So in the Cambodian cultures or the other Asian traditional when get headache, and getting sick, something like that, uh, they're going to put that on their forehead like that. And she get really sick right now, it's not staying healthy. You already know the environment and everything, food, clothes, and water, it wasn't clean either, and no inspection for USDA inspection. And then that her health is going down. So she get old and get too much uh, stress and depressed and um, uh, in the future she have no hope. How can she change her life and her generation to her grandchildren too? There's no way else to do it. So she have only one job so she is a dishwasher. She washing the dishes every day. She only get 10,000 real, is $2.50, and to raise her grandchildren, fire them, that their parents abandon them, and then they just left her. Her daughter choose uh, working as the recycle collectors and sell them, make a living. They got about 10,000 real too, it's $2.50 and they couldn't survive even themselves very well, so they didn't care about her anymore. They didn't take care of her, and they didn't remember 
How hard is her life after her husband left her and left three kids behind? So she working so hard, but it's still right now on her generation, it's hard to pass to her second generation, it, her two daughters and her son, and it's still poverty too, and their life cannot break through the poverty lights, and then now it passed to her grandchildren generation, but she try hard to work and helping the kid go to school, don't skip the school because she didn't have any education even. She can read either and kind of blind, didn't know anything. Just all, only she know is working and get some money for survive. You know, this is for survival. It's not for the life, enjoy everything like food, like clothes, something. So we got some donator to see the video after that. His name is Saint Paul and his wife Yeti. So they gave her for three hundred dollars, and then to pay for her rent. But if she want to open the business, they going to give three hundred dollars. So if not, I will take and hold this money to pay for her fifty dollars a month. And we got another. Donator too. They so kind. They live at Canada. Her name is Wan Xin. She help her fifty dollar too. And this time, she got one hundred dollar to start her life. So still uh, left over two hundred fifty. But we uh, take gonna hold this money, going to her apartment every month to give to her fifty dollar. And this apartment rental only thirty dollar. But she can have twenty dollar to help herself buying food or something else, or help her grandchildren go to school. And the other thing, she got kicked out from the other apartment because that lady who manage and be a manager uh, that apartment uh, get some help from a Cambodian American live here, but they bought that apartment, let her. Uh, to be a manager there, but they drink and they playing the game. They all she is a game ball, but when she lost and then she got mad and kick her out because she didn't pay for that rent for two months. She didn't have any money, so the other neighbor got another apartment to let her stay in this apartment. But uh, right now, uh, the the kind neighbor and they moving out. They let her stay here because. They think she is very old, and then uh, she cannot move to any further. But they already move in, and everything she move in the apartment. They just keep this apartment to her, and she can have it stay there. And Putak just went to the right time and help her to pay for the apartment, and she can live for a better life. And thank you very much for the help. From the neighbor live at California and one live at Canada. Yeah, live at California. His name is Saint Paul, and his wife Yen T. They so kind. You become my friend too because we team up to help the poor live in Cambodia. They have no life and no future, no anything for their hope. And the other one, her name is Won Sien. Thank you very much for your help. Fifty dollar can make her life very different. So we all here, Putak and Puvat and me, we are the team. We try to figure it out and how to helping them. So they work on the field, Putak and Puvat at Cambodia. They live at Cambodia. They all Cambodian too, and they work in the field, working hard for this travel. But uh, we work as Non-profit organization. They didn't have any income, so uh, depend on uh, general people, like to give them for their daily expense or travelings. Everything how much they give to them is depend on them. We not collecting or limited for them to pay for them. It's not their job in working to get paid. We just do it from our heart. So we are three guy here. Uh, yeah, to help them out, they 
both live in Cambodia, like I told you, but I live in the United States. You mostly heard whatever I have been told my story. I live in the hot situation and um, Cambodia, I speak very well in Cambodia. I live, I know how that hot situation is. So I know exactly what's going on. That's why the UNHCR helped me out from the refugee camp and then got me in the United States. So I have to follow this good deed, this good heart like UNHCR and Church World Service sponsor me. I have to follow them. So I have to look back and help them back. You know, like Jesus said, don't get tired to help others. You will be rewarded when time is right. When the time is right, as long as you don't give up. But I really love and put into my heart and Jesus sacrificed his life to let everybody know he uh, had cross on the cross and his bleeding is his compassion to let everybody know you everybody have to follow me so I follow him I'm a different religious but uh, I believe in Buddhist but no matter what uh, like any religious not harm to people uh, Jesus he's a good lord he's a good guy to help our people so I have to follow his word but I'm so proud and respectful for Jesus whatever he done to people same thing like Buddha Buddha he the man he the real uh, sure of his mind to helping people give a good word and good advice to people i have to follow them so this is to the end of this video for episode three please you guys follow up and please if you want to support please uh, subscribe and don't forget to click notification bell to get new video upload every day at my channel my works every 6 p.m. at Central Time and thank you for your support. Please, if you would like to help, please share this video to let everybody can see it. And thank you for your support and thank you very much for viewer like you. Well, you guys have the wonderful day. Bye bye. ไว้นะบ่าวซั่นเจลูกอมอาจฉนัยตื่นที่มุกระบองบ้านมวยมองมาซาที่เคยมุกระบองลูกอมลูกโดมวยจุยมาซาเด็ดนะบ่าแต่